Hey everybody, it's Will. Just wanted to show you guys what I've been up to. So if you remember, this block was just a, a you know, a block of aluminum, two and a half by one and a half by 18 inches long. Uh, well, I, uh, I turned it into a fixture. Um, if you can see here, this is an end mill, uh, but the idea is basically turning this lathe into a mill and that uh, I can do cutting operations a different way. You know, it used to be that all the, uh, the bits were on the gang here. This is a gang style lathe. This is called a gang. So they would all be on this side and they'd be stationary. Well, this operation, uh, turning this act the spindle into a cutter, just like a spindle would, or spindle would do on uh, a mill. So uh, that's going to be spinning around and then these are, you know, going to be stationary and then the, the slots are going to get cut in there. Uh, it took a, a little while uh, to, to get this, uh, this fixture all figured out, but uh, it's really cool and uh, it does things pretty fast. Uh, do 16 of them at a time. I'm going to go ahead and start this. Actually, I don't even need to close the uh, door at all since I don't use coolant. This is a, uh, a special three flute um, end mill. It's meant specifically for aluminum. It's got a zirconium nitride coating on it. So, uh, without doing super deep cuts, I don't really even need pulling on this operation. So what was that, like 52 seconds, I think, to, uh, to do 16 pins, so there's more time that goes into uh, setup and, and takedown. So uh, these are, I can't remember what they, they're actually called, they sort of latch the ends. So now that's loose. And then there's one center socket head bolt that's tightened, so now they're all loose. And they just pop right out. Let's see if we can get that to focus. No, not really. Oh well. Uh, so, getting those done. Should have them all done here real soon. Uh, check back later.